Yeah, coming back to the class. Forget about money, forget about Apple, forget about everything else. Who did iPhone? Now, now the time to get serious. Okay? Time to get serious. Time to get serious. Take it down. It looks like you have kind of poked that page. Okay, all right. Back to the class. Back to the class. Now time to be serious. Okay. But time to be serious. Very, very serious. I'm okay. serious. I'm serious. I'm serious. serious. No, no kidding. No kidding. Everybody's serious, okay? Now, now, I'm, I'm a good friend, but I'm a teacher at the end of it, okay? Everybody. And if I see anybody messing around, there's going to be a complaint to, to parents also, okay? So be serious. Okay. Now, is there any problem? No, try to stretch. What is that? Try to stretch. Do it stretching at home and then come close. Okay. Sit down. Okay. Sit down. I'm we sitting down. Ishan, I'm not joking here. I'm teaching you guys, okay? okay. So pay attention. Everybody. 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 Alright. So where did we leave yesterday? All these ones, um, angles, angles, angles and um We learned about the basic shapes, we talked about the properties. We are going to start the area and perimeter for the shapes like square, rectangle, triangle, and circle today. But the circle and area is the thing. So, okay. Now, now I request to all of you, okay? Request to all of you. I will let you guys when you have to speak. Okay? Ishan, can you sit properly? Oh, so we're going to learn about... Uh, so we're going to learn about how to get the different, how, how to learn how to the different the, formulas to figure out yes, the area. Yes. So, okay. Now, in, when it comes to math, math is not about memorizing things. It's about knowing the concepts. So we'll focus on concepts. We'll talk about the formula for area, for rectangle, square, triangle, circle. For some of the, some of the formulas, I will also tell you how it is derived. At the concept level. Some of the formulas are not going to explain you guys, not because I don't know. It is because it will be too early for you guys to know. Okay? Things like calculus, things like differentiation, integration. There are concepts from those things that is used for realizing some of the formulas. It will be very early, it will be overwhelming for you guys to learn it now. Okay? So let's let's go step by step. But before we do that, we do tables, right? Yeah? Oh no, we didn't do tables yesterday. No. We, so we'll do it today. Why, why, why? Okay, next five minutes, next five minutes, everybody. Abhi, come here, Maya, raise your notebook and pen. Keep it with you. I want everybody in the class to be super serious, okay? Okay? Where is the pen? So, this kind of thing is not acceptable. Go and get it quickly. This will not be tolerated in this class. See, if if we don't follow discipline, I can guarantee you that you will waste your one hour and you will waste your parents' money also. Okay. Is that funny? No. Is that funny? No. Nobody will interrupt. Nobody Is that funny, Ishan? No. It's not funny, Ishan. It's not funny. No, ma. It's not funny, right? Let's not do that, okay? Because if you waste time, if you are not being serious, we will not learn, okay? Alright. So, let's start with the tables. Everybody ready? 12 fives are? 60. 60. I will point fingers, okay? And then that person will say. And say quickly. 8 times are? 32. 32. 12 sixes are? 72. Okay. 5 nines are? 45. 8 threes are? 1. 8 threes are? Oh, uh, 24. 24. See, you said you don't know it. You know things, okay? Coming back to Arab. 13 3 What? 13 3 39. Okay. 8 8 -er. Okay. Uh, 12 7 -er. Very nice. Okay, okay. 12 6 -er. Very nice. Uh, 9 9 -er. Wonderful. Seven seven zero. Yeah. Oh, uh, forty nine. Very nice. So, what did I observe?
But I'm teaching you guys, I'm observing you all and I'm observing myself also. How fast we're going? I'm sorry? How fast we're going? Yes. How, so, how, how, oh, okay. how I feel? I, I will let you guys speak when there's a need. Otherwise, these 50 minutes will not be productive. Okay, now, when I said eight age, you guys responded sometime eight uh, 64. Nine seven uh, uh, 63. Some of you said 12, 6, 72. That 12, 6, 72, that instantaneous thing without an R, without a pause, is what we are trying to get to. That is our goal. Okay? So, everybody, request to all of you at home, is spend 5 minutes singing those tables. Okay? Today, who's going to sing the table with me? Who's going to sing the table with me? I, I have given enough chance to you. Uh, and you I don't know. No, I don't know. Okay, come, come back. Come here. So, I see, for me, every kid in this class is equally important, okay? I love you all, okay? No question about it. But then, we have to learn. One more, okay? Come, you also come here. No! No! You have to just follow me. You have to just hear me sing. Okay? Okay, come here. So, we are singing the table of 12. Everybody will follow me. You both. Okay. 12 one jar. 12 one. 12 Yeah, go ahead. Be it loud. Be it loud and clear. 12 one jar 12. 12 one jar 12. 12 8 8 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 you have to sing with me. 13 1 is 13. 13 1 is 13. 13 2 is 26. 13 2 is 26. 13 3 is 39. 13 3 is 39. 13 4 is 52. 13 4 is 52. 13 5 is 65. 13 5 is 65. 13 6 is 78. 13 6 is 78. 13 7 is 91. 13 7 is 91. 13 8 is 104. 13 8 is 104. 13 9 is 104. 117. 117. 117. 117. 117. Yeah. 13 times are 130. 13 times are 130. Good job. Take your seats. Alright. So, now. Everybody settled? Everybody? Okay. Now. Yes, sir. So, I want you guys to spend 15 minutes of very focused effort, okay? Let's look at something very interesting. Okay? Imagine there's a box. One centimeter in length and one centimeter in width. Okay? This box, one centimeter length and one centimeter width. The area of this kind of a box is called 1 cm into 1 cm equals 1 cm squared or 1 square centimeter, whatever you call it, okay? Any box of dimension 1 cm in length and 1 cm in width is called is 1 square centimeter, okay? That's the area. Now, now let's make a rectangle. Okay, which is three centimeter in length. So another one centimeter, another one centimeter. Let's let's make this like small boxes. What you see, if if I'm talking about a rectangle which has two. Uh, three centimeter length and two centimeter width. What do you see here? 
there are six boxes like this in this rectangle. Do you will agree? Yeah. Yeah. Apartment. Everybody see that? One box, two box, three box, four box, five box, six box. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, what I said in the beginning, a box one centimeter in length, one centimeter in width. The area of that is one centimeter square. How many boxes do we see here? Six. What will be the area? Six centimeters Six centimeter square. Yes. Yeah? So that is how. If if let's say you have a rectangle which is four centimeter in length and three centimeter in width. Where are we doing rectangle or square? Doesn't matter. So only focus on what you are doing. Don't look at your look at your surrounding. Okay. Otherwise, you will not focus on this one. What I'm saying is, I'm increasing the size of the box. When I had 3 cm and 2 cm length and width, I had 6 boxes. I made it 4 cm in length and 3 cm in width. How many boxes do you see here? 12. 12? 12? 12? 12? 12? 12? Yeah. Uh, it's going to be 12. Yeah, that's what. I'm, I'm just asking to count. How many boxes do you see here? 12? So what will be the total area of this rectangle? 12 centimeters. 12 centimeters square. So that is what derives the formula for area of a rectangle. Okay? When you have 1 into 1, 1 centimeter length and 1 centimeter width, it was 1 centimeter square. Mm -hmm. When you had 2 centimeter and 2 centimeter, it was 4 boxes. So 4 centimeter square. That was 1 into 1. So length into width. Now when you had 2 into 2, that was 4 boxes. When you increase the size to 3 centimeters in length and 2 in width, it was 6 boxes. So that was 3 into 2. That means area of a rectangle is always multiple of length times width. Meaning if you have 3, and 2 here, so there are 6 boxes. If you have 4 and 3 here, then you have 12 boxes. So that is 4 into 3. So that is how the area of a rectangle is derived. Which says, area of a rectangle is length times width. Okay? So, whatever circus I was doing for the last 5 minutes. Circus. Circus. Any problem? No, I don't have any. I will request you all. To be serious, this is this is the one hour for us to learn something. Okay, I'm not asking you guys here to come waste your parents' money. Okay, we are here to learn. Okay, Let, I'm just saying if you're coming here, you're, you're spending one hour. If that in that one hour, if you're not learning something, that is waste of time and obviously waste of money as well. Uh, yeah, I'm not learning anything because I don't understand. What was there not to be able to understand, tell me. I told you, if I have a box which is 1 cm in length and 1 cm in width, this area is 1 cm square. Yeah? I'm not sure if you're going to start doing geometry after a while. So I don't understand. Is anybody stopping you from listening to what I'm saying? No, no it's just... Let's try to relate. Let's try to relate. If you, if you, if you don't want to learn, you can tell your parents that I don't want to learn. So that way, the effort that your parents are putting for bringing you here, the hour, one hour that you are spending to the, to be here, right? That doesn't go waste, right? So if you are trying to learn, let's spend the time to learn. Okay. All right. So let me repeat myself. I'll try making things simple for you guys. Okay. So what I was saying was. If I have a box, 1 cm in length and 1 cm in width, this area is nothing but 1 cm square. This is, this is something that you just keep in your mind. Mm -hmm. Now, if I increase the size of the box to 2 cm in length and 1 cm in width, how many boxes do we see? 2 boxes. So that makes it 2 cm square. If you have to find the area of this, this much. If I increase the length of the box to 3 cm and keep the width as 1 cm, how many boxes do I see? 3. 3. So this is 1 into 3 equals 3 cm square. Okay. If I increase the length to 4 cm, 
and keep the width as one centimeter. How many boxes do we see? Four, four boxes. That is four into one equals to four centimeters square. If you further expand vertically, meaning you instead of one centimeter, you change the width to two centimeters. Then how many boxes do you see? Eight. Four plus four, eight. Also, my dad told me that if, like, if you have a square length, it will probably be more, will be longer than width. That's what my dad told me. We will see everything. We will not believe anybody. We will just do it to believe it. Okay? That's what is life. What happened? I'm just laughing. Huh? I'm just laughing. I'm sorry? I'm just laughing. Just laughing? Laughing. Okay. Uh, don't waste your time laughing when we are learning, okay? So now, when we have 4, four cm length and 2 cm width, how many boxes do we see? 4 times 2, 8 boxes, right? So that is how, I'm just telling you guys, that this is how this area is derived. One, 1 length, 1 width, 1 to 1, 1. So that times width. We, uh, when the length is 2 cm, width is 1 cm, 2 into 1. 2, two boxes, 2 cm square. So this is how this area is derived. I'm just helping you guys to relate. Then you don't have to prove this theorem again and again. You don't have to prove this formula again and again. The effort that we are spending here now is to make sure that you can relate that how was this formula ever derived. Okay? Any question? Well, also, if we do like surface area for the cube, will we, will wait, we, wait. Will we change it to no. No, no, see, see, Arav, Arav, <laughs> I, I have to stop you guys. I know you guys are full of energy. You guys are not as old as I am. But it's always very important to learn things in a controlled way. If you learn math, then science, then geography, then history together, what is that called? That is called a mixture. You'll end up learning nothing. Is that so learn one thing at a time with full commitment, full focus, then we'll go. You have the point that you're making, surface area, I'll come to that. Trust me, I'll come to that and I'll try to be as simple as possible so that Abhi, Tasvik, everybody understands. Yes, you have a question. It's cold. It's cold. I'll close the door. Yeah? I'll say it's safe. Huh? I'll say it's safe. It feels smart. Yeah. It feels smart. These kind of things I can entertain because I understand. I don't want anything to fall safe. Okay? Now. Okay? So now, everybody, Abhik, did you understand whatever we have on the whiteboard? Yeah. You understood? Yeah. So now, after the 15, waste of those 15 minutes, what did we learn? Area of a triangle is length time of okay. Huh? I knew it. How is a triangle length actually? That's square. I said length, area of a rectangle is length times width. Oh, you said triangle. Did I say? Yeah. Yeah. My price. That's half time I half have half half evidence half. of whatever I say. I'll watch that later. It's okay, but but yeah. What is important for you guys is the area of a rectangle is length times width. Okay? That is what we learned by doing all that, whatever we did. Now, then comes the square. Same thing. The square is also nothing but like rectangle. So, only difference being all the sides are same. If this is 2 cm, this will be 2 cm, this will be 2 cm, this will be 2 cm. If this is 5 cm, this will be 5 cm, this will be 5 cm. Clear? Everybody agrees? No, no concern, no problem, no worries. Okay. So, square is also like a rectangle. So that means area of a square. Okay? I'm writing S here so that it's easy for you to relate. Area of a rectangle. Area of a square means length times width. The problem here is length and width both are same. So I can say length times length. Length square. Length square. Clear? Clear. You know that? You will not say that you did not understand it? No, see. No, I don't. I know what uh, square areas are. Like they're the same side. Same side, yes. So, but so some squares are like different. No, every square is same. Every square. Whenever you say square, every 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 every, every square will have length and width same. Wait, that is why it's called. But when you need to make every square, 
that square, like on, on these type of sides, is a little bit bigger than on the top. No, so that is because my drawing skills are not great. But when you talk about square in geometry, okay, that would simply mean your length and width will be the same. That means all your sides will be of same length. Okay, that's a property. You cannot deny that. Do you like my hands so far? Do you like my hands so far? Yeah. yeah okay. Okay. So come back, come back, come back, come back. So every minute, every second counts. Okay. More we waste, more we lose. Okay, so area of a rectangle length times width, area of a square length times length or length square. I thought this length, ta length times four. No, so that's why I'm saying area. I did not say perimeter. Area is length times width for rectangle. For area for square is length times width also, but length and width are same, so you say length into length, that is length square. Now comes the perimeter. This is, see, whenever I say anything, first thing you have to do is recall the properties. Okay? Okay? Yeah? If I talk about the shape, as soon as I say this near the shape, you have to recall the properties. I said this is rectangle, this is square. You recall the property? You have in your mind? Very good. Good. I'll come to you. Now, area we figured out. Area you guys already know, length times width. This is length, this is width, let's say. Wait, are we comparing those two properties or are you saying um, each one? Yes, it's a way. Okay, so area of a rectangle is length times width. Area of a square is length times length because there is no width. It's the same, so length or times length. Length yeah. square. Now, we talk about perimeter. When we say perimeter, what is the thing that comes to your mind? The total border, yeah? Yeah, yeah I say like the border. The entire border, the length of all, the entire border, yeah? If you have to say, see, he said, told me the concept. Now, if you have to tell me the formula, tell me what, what that will be. Um, um, 4L. So no, for rectangle. Sorry, 2 times L plus W. Exactly. And you don't have to trust me. You will, or you don't have to trust R of either. What you will do is, this is length. The opposite sides are same length, okay, in that angle. Can I, if this is, can I see the area? Yeah, I'll come to that. So let's go step by step. That's what I'm saying. When we are doing a rectangle, let's finish that, then we'll come to the square. Okay? So here, the length of the border, this is length, this is length, and the width, this is length, and this is width. So length plus width plus length plus width. This is 2 times of length plus 2 times of width. That is why I took a 2 as common. That makes it length plus width. Okay? Do you guys find it easy to digest, process? Yeah, yeah very easy. Uh, I think very I easy. Tried to write it hmm? Okay. So, that is why I, I, all the effort that I am spending here is not to, to do anything else. I am just trying to make you guys visualize things. When you get a question, Draw the picture, recall the concept, you have to put the formula. Okay? Yeah? Yes. Now, now let's look at the perimeter of a square. What will that be? R, you were saying something. Oh, yeah. four, four S. Four times L or S, whatever. Four times the size, whatever. Yeah? But yeah. again, okay. don't trust R, don't trust me. We'll calculate. Math is all about calculating. Yeah? So, this is one side, this is second side, this is third side, this is fourth side. Meaning L plus L plus L plus L. Because we know, as when it comes to a square, all the sides are of same length. So, you are adding length four times. That makes it four times of L. That's it. Can you look? Make sense so far? Yes. Tasvi, you are with me? Vashita? Is it to understand? Yes. Kalya, no issues? Abhi, all good? Oh. Now, so, so far, we have learned the area and perimeter of a rectangle and a square. Not just because I'm asking you guys to memorize, but we, we try to look at how is this derived. Okay? Now, now I will actually force you guys to memorize something. Because yes. it will be difficult. Can I think first? Uh -huh. 
No, no, I'll tell you guys. What is to remember is, right? I have not told you that the... I cannot... Let's look at... Let's look at this shape. What is this shape called? Circle? Yeah? No, oval. What? No. Because the oval is Don't go by my drawing skills. I am telling you a circle. Okay. Okay? Yeah? I am not a very good painter or I am not very good at drawing. I have a mathematical set from India. Does it look like circle? Somewhat close to circle? It looks like some It's oval. It looks like it cut at the edge. Okay. Okay. Okay, so let's let's not worry about those funny stuffs. Let's be serious. Assume this is a circle, okay? What is the property of the circle? There's a center. It's like a it's a radius sides. No sides. Radius has diameter. Okay. Okay. But please let me complete so that everybody can follow it one way. If we start murmuring. Nobody will make out anything. Yeah? Um, the characteristics, it's so traced in it. Huh? It's so traced in it. Why does it look like an eye? Uh, good to know. I uh, still try keeping it even simpler, okay? It looks like an eye. We are not learning eye, okay? So get it's serious. Let's get serious, okay? Yeah, yeah. See, I, I like you all like a kid. But I am a teacher. I am not going to entertain anything emotional, personal, funny. Let's only do serious stuff. Tashik everybody. All of you. So, back to the class. So when we look at a circle, what is a circle? When you see the fan moving, the, the border of the fan, right? When you see the... That is, that is, that is a circle. When you look at this, this guy, this is a circle, okay? When you look at the wheel of the bike, that is a circle. How is that made? You will see something in the center, okay? And this, the, the property of the center is, this is same distance from all the places of the body, okay? Fraction. No, no, no not fraction, not, not fraction. This is radius, this is called, this center is, at this equal distance from all the place on the border, okay? This distance is called radius, okay? So now, if you take a string and attach a stone on the other end and then rotate that, okay? I'm not sure if you guys play with that, but if you rotate, if you tie a stone at one end and then rotate that stone, the border that it makes, that is the... This one? No, that is a compass, right? I'm talking about a, the playing thing. You guys are talking about study thing. I'm talking about a playing thing, right? Okay. right? Put a tie a stone at the end of a string, then the the, the string. Swing? Yeah. So then then you'll see it makes a circle. That is what it is. That means the length of the string is fixed. You are just rotating. So from this place, the, the center to the border. Tasmi can I need your attention here. Oh. Okay. So this is the center where you are holding the string and this is the length of the string which is making a circle. This is this distance from center to the bottom. Everywhere is the same, that is called radius. Come on, come on, come on, no jumping. No jumping steps, you will fall. If you if you have to go up this ladder, right? If you go one step at a time, you are in better control of things. If you jump two, three steps, you will fall down. So I'm just cautioning you not to do that. Okay? All right. So we learned about the circle. And this is the center. And this is radius. The distance from center to the, to the border of this is called radius. Here, the area and perimeter also exists because circle is taking this space. So, so, um, okay, so all of you, you hold your horses for five minutes, then probably I'll take your patience. Okay? Yeah. Huh? Hmm. So, the space that it takes on the surface, that is called area for any shape, right? Be it circle, be it rectangle, triangle, square, rhombus, whatever. 
Yeah? Abhi, Maya, everybody. Last week. Yeah? Are you taking notes, Ishan? Did you show your notes to your dad yesterday? Yeah. Okay. How did, what did he say? He said... Uh, better job? Yeah. Did he say that it's done better now? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. So we will keep on improving. Okay? No, All he right. asked me like what do we do today. I wrote that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, because I've not uploaded the video yet. So I'll, I, it is getting uploaded right now. So uh, then he will get to see. Okay? Now... Okay. So now we are talking about this area of a circle. This is taking this much area. If I am drawing a baby circle, then it's taking lesser area. A different area. Much bigger area. Right? So, how much space it takes is what is called area for any shape. So, how do we derive the area of a circle? There is a formula called pi. area equals pi r square. I thought of pi by Where? Wait, wait. That's the circumference. Wait, 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 don't rush. If you rush, you will commit a mistake. Have you seen people driving the car? No. Yes. Yeah, never been like So you if you drive with control, you will be safe, others will be safe. If you drive with, with a lot of rush, you will come across an accident. So it's okay. Now, area equals pi r squared. How is this formula derived? I'm not going to explain that to you guys because that is not a Concept that that I'm going to explain you guys right now. Not that I don't know, okay. but yeah. So then, does the oval have the same properties? Or different? We are not talking about oval. I don't know about oval. No, I'm, I'm saying oval is different. Obviously, different, right? Mm -hmm. So look at the circle. Look at the oval. But see, you see, I look at the square. Wait, 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 wait. We're not here for debate. Look at the square and look at the rhombus. Does it have same properties? No. Yeah, but. No. So, so that's what I'm saying. Geometry or maths is not about assumption. Don't assume things. Okay. If I'm not told that circle and oval are same, don't assume it. If you're assuming it, not by fault. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's focus on what we're learning. If we go to oval, then you go to cone, then you go to right, right same then you will not learn what is circle. Okay. So area of a circle is pi times r squared, where r is radius, and what is pi? Pi is a 3.14169. Pi is a constant used in math, okay? In, which is equal to 2 by 7, or 3.14 what are the percent? 2 by 7, can I check? 22 by 7. What is that? So there are mathematicians who made pi in the 1600s. The mm -hmm. first ones who calculated from the Arabic algebra book mm -hmm. and translated the pi. So what he used is he used the first 100 and 20, 23 or 24 digits of pi. Mm -hmm. But he knew that when he looked at the algebra book closely, I forgot his name, but it was in the mm -hmm. 1500s. The um. Um, he thought that it was infinite because he missed the equation. But also, further board was like in the 200 BC. So somebody of that is pi equals to 22 by 7. That is what is made for maths. Somebody called the, the huh? Crinius. 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 The one that, the, the very best mathematician in the, in the, um, it was politics or was okay. it the, because, um, sorry, Crinius. Um, huh? No, it's time. What is that? Let's come back. It's Let's history. My my God. God. No, no. We are not trying learning history here. What? In summary, I, I appreciate you for that knowledge. But what I'm saying is for maths, our focus a, a week. Here. I didn't get out my pencil. It was like right stuck in that, That's okay. That's okay. See, you guys are no more a toddler. Okay? So don't behave like a toddler. Okay. 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 Calm down. Okay. So the area of a circle is pi times r squared. Pi is a constant whose value is twenty two by seven or three point one four, whatever you remember. Okay. This is the value, and r is nothing but the radius of a circle because the the most important Property of a circle is, is radius. That radius is something that defines how big the circle is. 
If this is this bit a circle, this is the radius. If the radius is a circle small, that means radius small. If the radius small, circle will be small. Okay, that is that is the property. Now, what is what is uh, diameter? Diameter is something which just splits the circle into two parts, meaning okay. which is two times the radius. Okay, this whole thing is. Diameter. Oh, so like the line that goes through the center of it? Yeah. Diameter will always be through the center, right? Because it has to split that into two parts. Okay? Shh, that's it. What time is it? What? You already took a five minute break, so I'm going to extend the class for you for five minutes. Oh my god. No. No, okay, so, so, shh. Calm down, calm down. I'm just kidding. I want you guys to stay focused. When the time comes, the kids from the next batch will come and they'll ring the bell. So, anyway, everyone will know. Okay? Now, come back to this one. Okay? Focus. Two more minutes will be done. Then you, and you, you will get the homework. Yes! And this time, I love homework. So and, homework. And this time, I want everybody to finish their homework. I did. I did. I missed yes. last week's. I don't know. No, and I want your parents to can send me a confirmation. My mom? My mom. Mom. I'm sorry? Yeah, so shh, two minutes. I just need two minutes. Why why it takes so much of patience for you guys? You will are testing my patience at times. Okay. Area testing his patience like 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 passion. Okay. okay. I'll start freaking out if you guys keep disturbing me. That's what I meant. Okay, now coming back to this one. Shh. Area is the space that it takes. That is pi r squared. How it is derived? I'll teach you guys when you guys are 9th grade. Okay? Now, because that is related to calculus. Now, coming back to. I don't know geometry. How do you do this? Because it's measurable. You're not supposed to learn from grade. Is that simple? My dad taught me this. He said to do steps with all of these. That's okay. That's fine. But I don't want to overwhelm everybody by teaching something which is not needed to be taught right now. Okay? Now, what is perimeter? Perimeter is the. The boundary. Here, there is no way you can measure it, right? It's 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 not like size which will add a big. Mm -hmm. no. no, don't do that. Okay, so when you are talking about perimeter, this is the bond, the length of the total boundary. Okay, and here the formula is two times pi times r. Pi remains the same constant from 2 by 7, r is the radius. So you can remember this as area as pi r square and perimeter or circumference is 2 pi r. Wait, so what about the, the what, what formula is pi, pi times diameter? That is what it is. So diameter is 2 times the radius, right? 2 times the radius. So here you can say 2 times pi times r or you can say pi into 2 times r. 2 times R is diameter. Yeah? So it would be pi times D. Yeah. And, and it's okay. So if you have diameter, you divide that by 2, that becomes a radius. Use that in the formula. Any which way that you remember. Okay? Okay? Mm -hmm. So, be ready. Whoever has understood and whoever has not understood, regardless, you have to do the homework. Which will have area and perimeter questions for rectangle, square, and circle. Wait, did you circumference? I'm sorry. Come, come, come. Circumference and perimeter are the same thing. Oh, I thought a perimeter can be because the edges were worse. No, no, so, so conceptually I'm saying circumference and perimeter, both are the same thing. Just that circles don't have sides.